Um, we were up 35 or whatever. I mean, the game was in hand, so uh, no, there was never any thought about playing him again. But um, yeah, that was pretty amazing performance. You know, he's, he's we know he's uh, capable of that. Everybody around here remembers his uh, 37-point quarter. Was it 37 or 38? 37. 37. So. It always feels like it's it's a possibility, and when he got off to that start that he did, you know, a lot of a lot of easy buckets early, some lands, and then he got his jumper going. Um, it was uh, kind of started rolling downhill from there. Because you talked about those easy buckets he got. Can you talk about? You know, he moves well without the ball. Yeah. Uh, did it seem like that kind of got him going? How and how difficult is that? to teach guys the the move constantly moving out the ball well it comes naturally for him uh he's he's kind of an old school nba player you know he's like reggie miller rip hamilton um, guys who work without the ball the game today is played so much on the ball uh, ball screens um spot up you know on the weak side but but clay really is just constantly moving and probing and and um it, it, it's effective because we got a lot of playmakers. I mean, you could see once he got hot, um, Steph was looking for him, Draymond, KD, you know, Andre. They're all looking for him, Zaza. And so um, I've said this before, but I really believe, our, you know, the strength of our team the last few years offensively has been the number of guys uh, that we have who can pass and make plays. Um, and what's really gratifying as a coach is uh, – when you see the type of unselfishness, you know, Steph was on the bench, I think early second quarter. He was like one for five for three points at the time. And he was the happiest guy in the building when, when Clay was going nuts. Um, same with KD, he was the celebrations on the sideline. Um, to me showed kind of what this team is about. They, they take a lot of joy in, in each other's success, which is fun to see. What, can you describe for us at least in some detail, the post-game locker room, what it was like after a game like this where you blow out a team and where Clay hits the record books? Well, I walked in and everybody was on their phone. <laughs> and then I, I said, good job, guys. They went. <laughs> and, I, and I said, what time do you guys want to practice tomorrow? And they went. And then we brought it in. Good job. One, two, three, just us. Here I am. Kind of got lost in, in the clay hysterics tonight, but that play where it was off the jump ball, no dribbles, Draymond to Steph and the alley -oop, how spectacular was that play? Yeah, that was uh, that was amazing. Um, you know, Kevin is just, you know, he's so long, his arms are so long, he jumps so high that uh, a play like that, with anybody else, you know, that ball just, that's a turnover. And you could tell he was expecting the ball here and it went over there and he just caught it with his left hand and, and finished, but um, pretty remarkable play. But, you know, to be honest, what I liked the most about tonight was uh, that we made the simple play and uh, for the most part, that was a spectacular one, but we kept it simple, um, kept our turnovers way down. You know, I think we only had five or six turnovers mid fourth quarter, which is an incredible number. Um, so it was a great night. And what that does um, when you keep your, your turnovers down, it's the best thing for your defense. You know, you just don't give up the easy stuff when you take care of the ball. And for us, obviously, we get more shots. Um, and, you know, more field goal attempts for us is always good. But making the other team work for everything at the defense at the at the other end is um, is the most important thing when you're trying to win. And Keeping your turnovers down, you know, helps you do that. The NBA and their fans like big numbers, 181. But is there something for you a significance to 60 points in just 29 minutes? Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, it, it's significant for the individual. You know, um, it, it's it doesn't it doesn't matter to me like you know what you know what number it is, but. It matters to Clay, but you know it matters to every player who's playing. You you know you want to 
you want to do well. You want to. There are individual milestones that that are you know important to players, and I respect that as long as it's within the context of the game, um, which is why he didn't play. You know, in the last fourth, last part of the game, fourth quarter. But um, no, I think I think all of our guys are cognizant of of the fact that. When a guy's got it going, get him the ball, get him his career high. That stuff's fun. Um, as I said, as long as it's you know, part of the game. Clay uh, Clay made some some waves this summer when he was in Brazil and said that he wasn't going to have to sacrifice anything uh, this season. Any, anything. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just I'll edit it for for uh, the kids. Um, <laughs> Did uh, I know you've talked a lot about the, the unselfishness of this team, but all, all three of your stars are basically where they've always been shots-wise. Have you been surprised at all that they've kind of all been able to make this work kind of right away? Um, it doesn't shock me. You know, I was interested to see how it would work, but I did think it would work. Um, and again, it's because um, all these guys are playmakers as well as shooters. They they enjoy making the pass. Kevin loves to pass the ball, and so does Steph. And, and Draymond, obviously, I mean, that's his, that's his game. Not as much Clay. Uh, but they, they enjoy, you know, they enjoy passing to each other. And uh, so, it, you know, the way it's worked out is great. I mean, you, you look at the box score. Steph has 10 field goal attempts tonight. He doesn't care. I mean, he's not in there calculating his numbers. Uh, some players would be. Um, I thought this was one of Steph's best games of the year. 11 assists and no turnovers, and he was sharp defensively. Um, so I think uh, our guys, you know, they, they they care. Everyone cares about individual numbers. You know, it's the, you can't you can't say well they don't care at all. They care, but they understand how this works. Some nights are their nights. Some nights are somebody else's, and everybody just kind of takes joy in each other's success. And over the course of the season, it's fun to, to see the fact that, you know, they all sort of share and, and do it together. I want to take you down a hypothetical road real quick. Um, say, say the game is, is close throughout the way the night, the type of night that Clay was having. What do you think he was capable of putting up if he was playing close to 40? Yeah, I mean, I, it's a, who knows? I, I, I know he would have kept shooting. So, uh, Clay's never going to stop shooting, so I guess you could just, you know, do the math. I'll get Sammy Gelfan to do the math, but he played 29 minutes. He got 33 shots up, so more than a shot a minute. So if he had played another, you know, seven, eight minutes, that's 10 more shots. Who knows? Who knows how many points he would have scored, but uh, that's that's your job. But um, now the main thing was he, uh, you know, he had a great practice yesterday, and he just came in and, and lit it up today, and he was in a great groove. Right. Under, oh. uh, just uh, underrated portion of the night for Clay. 11 free throws, which is rare for him. Yeah. What do you think of that? And specifically when he pump faked yeah. Monte, Monte in the corner, it looked like you were you were pleased with that one. <laughs> yeah, I've been urging him to do that and, and, and Steph too. And uh, I think Clay has the, the potential to shoot seven or eight free throws a game on average if he wants. And um, you know he gets a shot off so easily that sometimes he just likes to pump fake and slide over and make and take a three. But I'd like to see him get to the line more. It helps our defense. Thanks. Great. Thank you.